Can Siberian Husky Swim? Learn about the athletic side dog. The Siberian Husky is a dog breed that many instantly recognize, even if they aren't dog lovers. These dogs have become popular thanks partly to successful movies that have featured their brave service to people. This is also one main reason the Siberian Husky is so popular as a companion canine throughout the United States and the world. In fact, according to the American Kennel Club, the Siberian Husky is currently ranked as the 14th most popular purebred pet dog out of 196 choices. Siberian Huskies are fun dogs because they love to stay active, run, play, and jump. But what often surprises new Husky owners the most is when their cold-weather dog learns to enjoy a popular summertime activity with them, swimming. The vast majority of Siberian Huskies love to swim. But there are a few things to remember if you'd like to share your love of swimming with your Siberian Husky dog. Can Siberian Huskies swim? The short answer to this question is yes, but the longer answer is it depends. Siberian Huskies are famous for loving snow and cold weather. Whether a Siberian Husky learns to love swimming is going to depend in part on your dog and in part on you. However, just like any dog, a Siberian Husky puppy should be introduced gently to water and the experience of swimming. It is normal for a puppy to be a bit wary the first time they are introduced to a pool or water. This is not to say your Siberian Husky will be wary, but know that most Siberian Huskies Learn to enjoy swimming if they are introduced to the experience gently and encouragingly. Vital safety tips for swimming with your Siberian Husky Bama Husky's Siberian Husky breeder explains that just because a Siberian Husky is an athletic dog doesn't mean there is no danger when combining puppies in pools. Far too many sad stories about puppies drowning after falling into a backyard pool. In a wild setting, a wolf cub would learn what water is for from their parents and how to get into and out of it. Puppies need to learn the same things from their human carers. It is certainly possible that if your Siberian Husky ended up in the water and didn't go into an immediate panic that they might figure out how to dog paddle, get to the side, and somehow climb out. But you don't want to count on this. Instead, we hope you will find the following pool safety tips valuable when introducing your Siberian Husky puppy or rescue dog to water for the first time. Provide an easy entry and exit point for your dog. If there is one safety tip, you want to lock into your brain from the start, it is this. Always make sure your dog has an easy way to get into and out of the water. This applies whether you are swimming together in a human-made pool, a natural pond or lake, a river, the ocean, any body of water. But it isn't enough to provide an easy way into and out of the water. You also want to ensure that your Siberian Husky understands where the entry and exit points are and how to use them. The reason for this is simple. Just like a person might panic if they find themselves in the water unexpectedly, so too can a Siberian Husky or any dog, adult dog, or puppy panic and end up in danger even when there is an easy way out right nearby. For the safest experience, start the whole experience of swimming by teaching your puppy or rescue dog exactly how to enter and exit the water using the entry-slash-exit points you have identified. You should move on to the actual swimming lesson only once your dog is familiar with it. Remember that wet fur weighs a lot. Watching a Siberian Husky run and jump and play on solid ground can give the illusion that these dogs are nearly weightless. They move and look so effortless. But Siberian Huskies, with their ancient lineage as a working dog breed, have very thick double-layer coats in adulthood. The Siberian Husky's coat consists of two layers, a thick and insulating underlayer and a water-resistant and protective outer layer. Together, those two layers represent a massive amount of fur. Most Siberian Husky owners realize this when their puppy grows up and start their first seasonal coat blow shed. But if you want to introduce your Siberian Husky dog to water and swimming, you'll want to remember this every time you head for the swimming hole. All that fur weighs a lot, even when dry. It weighs much more when it gets wet. Chlorine isn't good for dogs. As the American Kennel Club points out, chlorine poses an extra risk to dogs, even on top of the risks to people. This is because dogs will not realize they can't drink the chlorinated pool water if they get thirsty. There is also the ever-present danger that your dog may get into the supplies area where the chlorine treatments are kept and ingest those as well. Even fresh water isn't always good for dogs. If you decide not to go to the pool, but instead head for a freshwater pond, lake, stream, or river, there is still a risk because bacteria and microorganisms will live in the water. The general rule of thumb here is that moving water such as a river, will likely be safer than still water, such as a pond. 
This is because the water doesn't get stale since fresh water always flows in. Even so, it will be safer if you do your best to keep your Siberian Husky from drinking the water. If you want to know more about vital safety tips for swimming with your Siberian Husky, visit our website fluffydogreads.com.